So in our latest episode of Manny Being Manny, here's something that's going on in San Diego. Notice that the play starts while the TV broadcast is interviewing a member of the Padres. We'll get back to that in a minute. For you, coming from Tampa Bay, the Rays. Bottom of the fourth, Machado at first base, none out. St. Louis leads 2 nothing. For you so far this year. I would say the biggest adjustment. I would say the biggest. Whoa. Y'all want to talk on that? <laughs> wow, yeah. I mean, we saw it play out, and Manny on his way to second base went down low. Nothing dirty there, by the way. He and Edmund just got tangled up, and Tommy was unable to throw to first base. The outs recorded on base. You're talking to a member of the Padres who just said, you guys want to talk on this play? It's like if something happens in school and the high school principal with a teacher that you don't like in the room says, you want to make a complaint on this teacher? And the teacher's sitting right there. You're, no, nothing dirty. Nothing dirty. It's okay. Whether this is a dirty play or not, you can be the judge of. But we're here to talk about rules. And I'm here to tell you, that's a legal play. As we go through the rule book, the first rule is that a runner cannot deviate more than three feet away, horizontally speaking, to avoid being tagged. That's the base path rule, so-called out of the baseline. But what they really mean is base path. And that's not what we have here. So Manny can go over or under. Fielder might be too tall to go over, so he decides to go under. The closest rule that we have is the sliding to bases on double play attempts, bonafide slide. And there's a key phrase within that that makes this play legal, even though it doesn't occur exactly near the base, which you think is what the rule's for. And that portion of the rule says, interference shall not be called where a runner's contact with the fielder was caused by the fielder being positioned in or moving into the runner's legal pathway to the base. And Edmund is going into Machado's pathway to the base in order to tag him. I mean, he's legally allowed to do that, which means Means that Machado is legally allowed to slide into Edmund, dirty or not, it's legal. And one more rule is this willful and deliberate interference with an attempt to break up a double play. I don't think it you can make that argument. As an example of what willful and deliberate means, let's look at Alex Rodriguez, who's in the booth calling Off this game. The end of the bat. Arroyo. The ball gets loose. This is not the normal running motion. That's clear. The umpire's got it right. Absolutely. Uh, oh, oh, that's it. He couldn't see it. Anyway, back to the current play. So Machado goes low bridge, everybody down. Cave guy's underwear is brown on the middle infielder here. And he doesn't get tagged. There is no tag. So he can get up and go to second base, right? Well, Machado gives himself up. He's not called out on the tag. If you look at the second base umpire, Machado never actually gets called out until he goes back to the dugout. And that is an abandonment play, 509B2. After touching first base, he leaves at the base path, obviously abandoning his effort to touch the next base. And you're saying, well, that's first base. And I'm saying, well, look at the comment and look at the case play in the comment. Runner believing he is called out on a tag at first or third base, second in this case, starts for the dugout and progresses a reasonable distance, still indicating by his actions that he is out, shall be declared out for abandoning the bases. And that's exactly what happens here. So oddly enough, Manny successfully avoided the tag of the fielder with that slide, which I'm not going to make any judgment on whatsoever. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com, Twitter and Facebook at Close Call Sports. Be sure to take out all of your middle infielders because it's apparently legal and the right thing to do. Wait, what? And we'll see you on the site.